just getting a couple days off. I mean, uh, what that mean to this team? He's been such a grind. Yeah, it's, it's been nice. I think just to get our bodies healthy, um, get back in the gym and work on things that we need to get better at too. I think that's really important, um, just as important as the rest. Um, get in here and actually be able to work on things and like go hard. We haven't really had an opportunity to do that since since our season started. So you're used to attention, but it's gone from just attention to hyper people paying attention. What's going on? How are you dealing with this? I mean, same. Yeah, same. Can you block it out? Absolutely. Like I don't really hear the noise. I just come here and play basketball every single day, and that's what I focus on. And, you know, this is my job, so um, everything else, all the external noise, doesn't phase me. Caitlin, what did you prioritize the last couple of days? What did you need the most? I think, honestly, just getting away from basketball a little bit and, you know, getting some sleep, getting some rest, taking care of my body, and then, you know, getting back in the gym, working on my shot. Um, you know, we've done some small group stuff, too, working on, like, some breakdown things that we need to get better at, whether it's ball screen stuff, whether it's defensively. Um, so it's been nice to be able to, like, go hard in those areas because other than that, like, We've just had walkthroughs before every single game to this point, just because of our schedule. It's been so demanding, so uh, it's been nice. We saw last night where you had the team dinner. I know a lot of times that's when teams, that's something where you can really bond, whether it's on the road or here. What did you kind of get out of that or anything else you've been able to do here? Yeah, recently? it's been fun. That's like one of our first, you know, team bonding things that we actually had time to do. So, um, you know, it's fun to all go out to dinner and just get to hang out and it's heading outside of basketball get to know each other and to laugh and it not be so tense and serious all the time like those, those are important important moments for this team too how much more intense was today's session compared to anything you guys have done in a practice setting since the season started yeah i think you know even when we go through our walkthroughs like there's an intensity about us it's just not uh, you know your heart rate's not up it's just a little bit different but you know to be able to go up and down and to actually play live and see how things are working and you know, try new things try new plays go over plays that maybe have worked and maybe haven't worked and get better defensively i think has been huge for us so um you know i think competitive from a competitive standpoint like we were just competing a lot more um other than that like i feel like our intensity is always really good and that's something coach always demands out of us caitlin what do you expect to be kind of different in these next bunch of games now that you have more and more practice time i think our chemistry i think you know you'll continue to see it grow our connection get a little bit better um you know hopefully we get our legs under us a little bit more make a few shots um felt like we were you know we probably haven't shot it as well as we would have liked um and maybe that's you know just think the ball not rolling our way maybe that's because our legs are tired so um i think that but i think overall just our chemistry of you know how we're working together we're a young team like you know when i'm playing the point guard spot like i haven't got to practice with my team much like that's really hard um trying to navigate an offense and you know you haven't had much practice time together so i think that's just something we're going to continue to navigate but i think it's you know it's already improved a lot and it's only going to continue you exited last game with that ear injury. What did that feel like, and are you good now? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. It's still, still a little hard to hear, but it's, okay. it's all good. You're used to physical play. Yeah. You said you grew up playing against the guys. What's this first 11 games been like for you? Yeah, it's surprise or no? Yeah, it's definitely been physical. I mean, I wouldn't say I've been surprised. Like, I know the physicality was coming, and that's something I was prepared for. And um, I think that's the biggest adjustment is how physical this league is and how, you know, Good these players are that are guarding me like they're in my space all the time they're not going to help off of me and just really great defenders and you know so I'm still trying to learn and navigate that of like setting up cuts using cuts using screens better um, making better reads out of ball screens um, I think it's just like all those little things that will come with time you know I'm trying to learn on the fly too so um, you know giving myself a little grace but also I feel like I've already learned a, a bunch through the first 11 games and I feel like you can see that and that's only going to continue to improve curious a diehard sports fan like yourself might turn on a sports center and stuff like that but lately it's probably been all of you about you for example what do you turn on to turn that off if that was yeah i don't i don't watch a ton of sports center i mean i watch the other wmba games as much as i can okay movies random shows you know my little brother's living with me so he plays a lot of video games so sometimes i get caught watching that i don't know just random stuff you know what did today mean for this team just to have an intense session like this all together to work on stuff, get through things, things like that? Oh, uh, me personally, it's a part of being a pro. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. Um, I think that when you don't have games, you have practice, you're supposed to go hard. So I think that's just expectation of me personally, but I would hope it's the same for our team too. So this is something we need, you know? We're not, we can't be in a rush, obviously, and we don't have a game coming up, so get the work in, you know, it's going to be gutty, it's going to be trenchy, but it's worth it. What did the two days off do or mean for you to have that kind of gap finally? Oh, I needed a reset, so I, it was good for me. Um, I was able to go and see my family, um, considering my family change and everything I, you know, had to 
encountered these last couple months. It was good for me to see my family, uh, see my nieces and nephew. So I was excited about my off days. <laughs> Has the game been more physical than in the past, the past 11 games, or is this normal? Um, like I said, I'll speak, from, I'll speak from personal experience. It's always been like this. Um, the gritty, um, um, the plays that seem like out of touch, but it's all, I, me personally, it's always been like this. Um, I came up with Maya Moore, so trust me. <laughs> everybody's, yeah, exactly. Everybody's paying attention now, though. Do you, do you feel that? I mean, everywhere you go, every turn, everybody's talking about this. Um, yeah, obviously, you can't help, you know, what your eyes can't like, unsee. And, you know, I mean, I think for me, um, you would like to think that the league is playing by the right rules. Um, you would like to think that players individually, are going to, you know, respect players and still be competitive. Um, you know, dirty play is what it is, based on your personal who you try to be, but. Here in our locker room and what we try to do, we try to keep it clean um, and just be competitive. You know? Kelsey, now that you've had this a couple days off, now practice time, how do you just go about building chemistry to kind of get right in and have more of a connection out there on the court going forward? Um, I think to this point, practice, man. I think all you can do is, is rack up as many reps as you can. You're not going to get it all back in a couple days, obviously, but you get, you know, your daily deposits and, you, you know, you, we deposit every day. I think in the long run, we we gonna see the fruits of our labor. You know, that's the idea. I was gonna say, what has your kind of message been to the team and how they handle situations um, uh, like you guys have been encountering? Yeah, I, I think for for one, um, especially you know for two two, um, you know C squared is you know obviously on a different you know as far as everybody seeing how everything goes for her individually and the, and the scopes is on her. Um, for her, I tell her to give herself some grace. For one, um, you're not gonna get it. Like I said, we're not gonna get it all back in. A week, we're not gonna get it back in a couple of days. So for us, it's about taking the daily deposits and you know individually getting what we need. And then from a group standpoint, I think everything will slow itself down if we mentally just take a breath. And I think from my team, it's, it's I try to be the person that's gonna be, hey, take some time for yourself, get what you need. And then when the team needs you, you can answer answer the bill. And so the mindset is for us to like be clear here to go and compete on the floor. Guard guard actions you and Caitlin have been getting into this season. What, yeah. what have you felt about how those have gotten better? I think Christy said you guys studied the Warriors a little bit for those. Like, how has that all kind of come for you to come together? Oh, um, I mean, me. I mean, based on how, how I see it, I think it's an you know effective way to play um, and utilize the rest of our group. Um, our fours and fives are really really um, agile, so that guard to guard work is going you know pull as many people as we possibly can. And the hope is that you make the right play, uh, make the right, right read. But um, I enjoy you know the guard guard action. Um, I think we could tap into it a lot more and that's the idea. I think that's why we get these reps. How have you seen CC react to all of the things that are going on? What have you seen behind the scenes that maybe we're not seeing out here publicly? Oh, uh, I won't say anything I don't know. I just, she's a human. And I think that this world should treat her as such. Um, I think she deserves to give herself some grace. And I think a lot of people around this world should too. Um, and I think that at the end of the day, not only is she human, she's a 22 year old kid technically. And I think that, you know, she's going to transition. There's going to be things that she's just going to experience that comes with time. And I think that the world should give her some grace. I really do. And I think that's our job as a team to like make sure that she's covered from a standpoint of like feeling mentally and physically safe, obviously. But like, you know, psychologically, we want her to, you know, at the end of the day, she got to go home and sleep. So that's our deal. We want her to feel at home all the time. How have you felt after not really having a training camp? Is this kind of your <laughs> mini training camp? Uh, I would say so. I think for me, it's about really in a, in, in a way. I, I love I love to hoop, man. So I come in here and get my reps no matter what. Um, but I think the way our stretch went and the way our games are going, I think these small snippets of what we do and what we get, shit. I think I think it'll help us in the long run. I really do. You feel like you've been on holiday yes, for a couple God. days off? Yeah, I felt like we were back in training camp a little bit. That's the last time we practiced was several weeks ago, so it just felt good to be able to work on some things with these guys. How important is this week to actually have time to go through some things? Yeah, you know, we talked to them earlier about the things that we were able to improve on throughout, from the first five games to six to 11. Um, and there were some, like our turnovers, we really improved there. We really improved on the, um, like, opponent offensive rebounds. Like, we were able to get more stop, not as many uh, second chance points. Um, but then some of the things that we're able to work on is just on the defensive end. And so we were able to do that yesterday and today a little bit. How much more intense was it than anything else you've been able to do from the start of the season till now in terms of the speed and everything like that? Yeah, it was, it was game speed today. We haven't we haven't done that um, on in between all those days ever. Not one time. You just can't. 
to that point, what more now in, in particular can you zero in on, whereas before you're probably just doing a broader perspective on everything? Yeah, transition defense is one that we can really work on right now because, you know, we have some time. Um, also, we did a lot of breakdowns as it relates to keeping the ball in front of us, dribble penetrations. Like, we, we're putting our posts in some tough situations having to help so much, so we've got to do a much better job keeping the ball. Have you talked about physical play and how you guys have gone up against this? Is it different than normal or is this pretty much how it is? Well, we played the top teams in the league, some of them three times already. So, you know, it's just, um, this is a physical league and that's just, we've just got to be able to take the hits and, and, and give some too. You know, like we've got to be able to keep fighting. Um, we tend to get down when things aren't going our way and we have a hard time trying to get back. So that's one thing we're really focusing on is, you know, when things aren't going our way, we've got to be able to snap back into it. Do you want to see somebody step up when Kalen gets knocked down like that? Do you want to have an enforcer? Somebody say, hey, that's my teammate here? Yeah, well, I think we saw that in the Seattle game. I mean, Victoria Vivians and, and Kalen kind of tied up, and it was in play, so people were all right there. So we went, you know, everyone went and kind of helped right there. But, you know, the other incident was away from the ball. It was a, a non-basketball play. We were, we were on the other end of the floor, so you can't even compare the two. But Seattle showed exactly where we were going to be. How do you... How do you expect things to kind of change for you and kind of come together now that you've had this practice time? You get to you get to fix all the things that you can't get right. You can't get right just watching video. You can't and like it's live action. Like you can't you know just walk through things and get get better. So just being able to do things live um, changes the game. Are you able to focus on what's going on and block out all the noise because it's kind of like a lot of people focus about this team right now. Yeah, you know, that, that's where we were from day one. That's what we talked about. We have to keep our blinders on and our earplugs in and just try to, you know, focus on us, focus what we can control. What is the level of frustration when you are going through a stretch like you went through? You, said, you can't fix it. Yeah. What is that level of frustration <laughs> like for you and what is it like for the players? Yeah, I don't know if I've experienced anything like it ever in, in my 12 years of coaching in this league. Just that, that grind of a of a schedule and uh, two back-to-backs against the two best teams, one of you know, two of the best teams in the league uh, at the end. It's just tough. It's just really tough. And I'm really proud of our players. Um, I just keep talking about that. They keep showing up. They keep showing up. Hey, so, you know, you just got to keep your team together whenever they're going through something. Katie Lou's worn a bunch of hats for you guys this year in terms of roles and positions and things like that. Well, how would you describe her role and the importance she has to the team so far this year? Yeah, Katie Lou's been huge. I mean, she's, you know, been a veteran presence for us, which is huge. You know, Katie Lou had a baby 10 months ago. <laughs> 10 months ago. So she's trying to get every, you know, in this situation, the way we were being scrutinized for everything and just the, the microscope on us, she's trying to figure it out again. She's trying to get her, her game back. So you've got that happening. You've got, you know, all the outside happening. Um, but she's just trying to be consistent, and she's putting in the extra work that needs to be done to help herself get back. What do you think it'd be like for going against her sister on Friday for the first time in a while? Yeah, no, man, I hadn't even, I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> um, but I think that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a cool situation. Anytime you get to play against your your sibling, that's that's probably, you know, she's going to go at her, I'm sure, pretty good.